So this seminar is about chanting, but it's chanting from a very different angle vision. It's giving the scientific basis of why attentive chanting is why attentive chanting is the key to coming from our material existence to our spiritual existence and also the scientific basis of how to chant attentively. So it both gives us the why and it gives us the how. So we're going to start with the analogy of traveling somewhere. And you can think of this with a map. Like if you go on the internet, you can get Google Maps. And after you've plotted where you are and where you want to go, then you can click a button for reverse directions. And it will give you the opposite direction. Your right turns become left turns. You can also think of this in terms of a GPS, that you can program a GPS to go someplace. Then after you've reached your destination, you can either just hit a button that says home or you can verbally say home and your GPS GPS will reverse your direction. So that's going to be the principle here. We're going to see how we have become entangled in the material world and then how through properly done attentive chanting, we can reverse directions to go home. So we're going to start by looking at Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter 26, text 32. Tamasak cha vikurvanat bhagavad virya chodita shabda matram abutasman naba srotam susabdagam. When egoism and ignorance is agitated by the sex energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the subtle element of sound is manifested, and from sound come the ethereal sky and the sense of hearing. So we're not going to read the entire purport. We're going to read a section from the first paragraph. We're going to read a section from the second paragraph. In the first paragraph, it is stated also in the Vedanta Sutra that sound is the or material possession and that by sound one can also dissolve this material existence. Anavritti Shabdat means liberation by sound. The entire material manifestation began from sound and sound can also end material entanglement if it has a particular potency. The particular sound capable of doing this is the transcendental vibration. Hare Krishna. Our entanglement in material affairs has begun from material sound. Now we must purify that sound in spiritual understanding. So here we see Srila Prabhupada talking about two related things. If you have the purport in front of you, again this is three 2632. You can see that Srila Prabhupada says the entire material manifestation began from sound, and sound can also end material entanglement. So, here, uh, generally I do this as an interactive uh, workshop, but uh, gener- what we can see from here is that Srila Prabhupada is talking about the whole cosmos, and we'll see that in the second paragraph, that the whole material creation was started from sound and if you look at the uh, verse itself egoism and ignorance create sound the first line in the purport it appears in this verse that all the objects of our sense gratification are the products of egoism and ignorance so everything Everything gross and subtle within this world was produced by sound. And sound can reverse the gross manifestation. Then Prabhupada's second point here, he says, our entanglement. So here Srila Prabhupada is not speaking about the whole 
material creation, but about us personally. Our entanglement in material affairs has begun from material sound. Now we must purify that sound in spiritual understanding. So please hold on to those two conceptions. The whole material universe was created by sound, and a particular sound can reverse it back to its spiritual origin. And my own entanglement in this material world began from sound, and it can be reversed also from sound. So let's go to the second paragraph. 